Here's a short demonstration of the importance of knowing the context when you read any veg machine graph. Veg machine is a powerful tool for understanding patterns in the ground cover and the health of your grazing land. But the fact is that any graph is only half of the story. Context is critical, and by context I mean the ecology, the management and the history of the country in question. That's why land managers have such a critical role in using this technology. They know the context. Here's a good example from a veg machine report. We're looking here at the range soil land type in a paddock called Little River Paddock South. All those red diamonds tell us that since at least 1990, average ground cover on the range soils in this paddock have been at levels well below that expected when compared to similar country in the surrounding region. Now we can be reasonably confident on this reading of ground cover. It is consistently low. But we should be much more cautious with the conclusions we make about the adequacy of local management of the productivity of this paddock because when we look at the context it's a much more complex story than this one graph shows. Let's start with the paddock map. There are three land types in this paddock and the first thing to note is that the range soils only account for about 1% of the paddock. In the context of this paddock that's not a lot and it won't impact on the total productivity of the paddock if the other land types are maintaining good condition. This leads to our second point which is how do the other land types in this paddock look? The ironbark country in this paddock isn't doing as poorly as the range soils, but cover is still consistently below expected levels. Importantly though, the loamy alluvials are holding up quite well. With the exception of this one blip here, possibly from a fire, the land type has cover consistently above or at least in the top half of expected levels since 1990. So again, looking at the context gives us some assurance that not all of this paddock has a serious ground cover deficit. A third piece of important context here is the tenure of the owners. The current owners have only been in place since about 2010. So whatever the causes of the low cover in the ironbark and the range soil country of this paddock, obviously it precedes their ownership. And in fact preceded the start of our measurements in 1990. Now whether the cover declined in 1989 or 1889, it's impossible to find out from our data but it shows how far from the truth we would have been to find the range soils with such low cover and simply attribute it to the current or even the previous owner's management. A last piece of context is back in the map. These are the two land types with consistently low cover. Nothing in this map tells you why they have such low cover, but the manager could because he knew the context. In this case, the only water point in the paddock is here. Obviously grazing pressure will be higher in this area around the water and this likely accounts for at least some of the low historical cover that we see in the surrounding land types. So there are some examples of why context is so important to what we see in veg machine graphs. One way to think about this is to use veg machine as a, as a tool to ask why and not a tool to just assign labels like good or bad. If you see an unusual trend in cover somewhere on your land ask why it's like it is. When you do ask why it forces you to look at the context and when you do that you're much more likely to see things that can help you manage your grazing land more effectively and more productively. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions feel free to contact us via the Facebook page or the help page on vegmachine.net.